Okay, y'all, they messed up my, my one blog. This is what I really was talking about. Pay-per-view rappers and the app battle rappers. That's what they come down to, y'all. The pay-per-view battle rappers. That's why you can't put them together. That's why the app and the pay-per-view can't be put together. They separately because of two different branding going on. They're not going to put the pay-per-view inside the app so you can get a discount. Uh-uh, ain't no discounts because they branding and marketing two different products. Well, what's the products being branded and marketed? The product that's being branded and marketed is the battle rappers themselves. Now, you may have other things featured in it, but this way really all come down to the grade of battle rappers you get. The superstars and big ticket sellers and pay-per-view drawers, those are the ones that doing the pay-per-view battles. That's not have anything to do to some degree with the app. With the app. Now, the app battlers are the ones that's on the rise and come up with the, P, the, the PG stuff that they doing, the franchise, Swamps, Mac Mall, Jack Boy Mains, Drugs, uh, Homes e them, and all them dudes. Those are the app battle rappers. Mostly all their stuff going to be in the app. All the superstars going to be pay-per-view. That's what it come down to. Pay-per-view battle rappers and app battle rappers. Now, from what I'm hearing, when it comes to some of the top tiers, from people who know the business like Cortez and DNAs, surf them, they want part of the app. Uh, 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 um... They want negotiations if they're going to be anything dealing with this app. If you using them for this app, they want some type of retribution for that. For that app. Okay? This is what they saying. Because they understand it's a money thing. Without a doubt. They know business. Now these PGs and think look, it just exposure for them. They ain't been getting no exposure, so this is going to help them a lot in getting exposure, especially if they capitalize off the shots they doing, put on good performances, build up their stock, because now what it's doing <coughs> is forcing the battle rap community to watch them, because they the ones that going to be supplying mostly all the talent on the app. So now they're going to be watched more frequently. So if they capitalize and do what they're supposed to do, they go from the app to the pay-per-views for the most part, for the most part. If they could tap in and reach that level of superstar status that got that it factor. I'm just going to keep it real. I'm just going to keep it real. That's what it comes down to. And I'm going to keep it real. Some of them brothers do got the potential to... Uh, Get there. And I know one brother in particular, man, who who I just think for the most part better than most of y'all them. Next franchise. Franchise is a killer. I'm just gonna keep it real. Franchise got everything. He got the it factor, he got the aggression, he got the stage presence, he got the bars, he got the energy, he got the voice. For that brother to be from Canada, I would never expect for his rapping, how he sound, to be as fluent as it is. That dude, when he get to rapping, that dude cold, that dude nice. He trouble. Franchise trouble. You ain't really just going there and, and beat up on no franchise and walk over to him. You get in the ring with franchise, it's going to be bad for you. It's going to be bad for you. We just saw what Danny Myers did against them, man. They talking about, oh, it's a classic, right? Franchise, Jeff, that, you can't sit in there and hang with Danny Myers. You know how many brothers? Danny Myers will body a PG and have done it and always have done it. But for Franchise, that's entirely different. Let me tell you something. Franchise got that it factor. Bankhead got that it factor. 
Killer B got that it factor. Drugs got that it factor. Jack Boy Main got it also. Um, <clears throat> I, I, the jury still out on Swamp when it come like that to me. Uh, Mac just had a crazy one, but I need to just see some more. I need to see some more. But let me tell you something, man. If them brothers do what they supposed to do, lock in, be faithful, committed, and tap into their uh, talent, they're going to be good, especially with this app giving them a lot of attention. Giving them a lot of attention because it's going to be the majority of their stuff. But at the same time, a lot of people going to fail. They're going to fail. Just like careers going to be made, a lot of them are going to be ended at the same time. While you're building up somebody, you're tearing somebody else down too. Just as simple as that. But for the mo main part, mostly all these superstars, mostly all these superstars on a pay-per-view level, with the T-Tops, the K-Shine, the Rocks, the JCs, those brothers right there, it's on a whole nother level, fam. That's on the whole, that, that's big boy status. When you get to doing them major cars like that, you have arrived on big boy status. And right now, you in the app status, $8. Them dudes status, $50 a pop. $50 a pop. That's, that's the breaking point. So are you an app battle rapper for the app? Or are you one for the main stage? For the main stage. Because you got to be a ticket draw. The name of the game is supply and demand. I don't care how hot you look. Look like Holmes, he was crying about how hot he is and how they not getting chances and opportunities. Let me tell you something. You believe in you hot ain't nothing if the people don't believe it. That's what it all comes down to. The people have to buy into it. The people have to believe it. What you say don't mean nothing if the people ain't buying into it and paying for it. It don't mean nothing at all. So at the end of the day, it all comes down to your body of work and what you're putting in. That's why I advise you, brothers. First of all, let, let me just tell you some things that never ain't going to work for you. So don't do it. Never do this because it will not work for you. Trust me when I tell you this. Let's go with the number one thing. When y'all rapping and y'all saying y'all raps, stop disrespecting God. Leave his name out of it. Do not use yourself in any equal to him. Do not use his name and attach it to yours. Do not say his name in some disrespectful manner because that never helps y'all. I don't care who it is that think it helps. It never helps y'all. In fact, when you write those rhymes and them ideas come to your head, those are satanic, demonic spirits putting those thoughts and ideas in your head to curse, blaspheme, and mock God so it can count against you in your real personal life. It has nothing to do with entertainment. It is a spiritual war that's going on whether you accept it or not. And when it comes to disrespecting God's name, that's something he's not going to tolerate and play with. And it will have consequences to you in your life. Trust me when I tell you all this. Leave his name out of it in any type of way. Don't use his name to make your rap sound good by disrespecting him. If you're not going to use his name in any means of being holy and righteous as he is, then you leave his name out of it. Exodus chapter 20. I am the Lord your God. Do not take my name in vain. I will not hold him guiltless who used my name in vain. So don't let them, look, don't let them spirits be the thing that damn y'all. Leave God's name out of it. Leave his name out of it. And it'll work better for you. Another thing. Stop complaining all the time. When you call for your shot, you take advantage of your shot and give it your all. Start taking y'all careers more serious. You don't have to ask for opportunities and chances when you've been getting them and failing. When your name is called and you up to play, it don't matter if you rapping against a no name. You could be going up against cornbread. You can go up against white shirt. 
If you body him, if you spaz crazy, you are going to get the credit for it, the exposure for it, and all you have to do is be faithful to your own talent and gifts. And it'll make room for you. So don't say you're going up against somebody who don't push your pen. Because your talent, your gift should be enough to push your own pen. Do you understand what I'm saying? Another thing you brothers got to uh, stop doing. Stop marketing uh, 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 your talent off other people. Be original. Tap into who you are personally. Tap into who you are personally. Stop copying everybody else. People trying to sound like New Jersey twerk all the time and doing. Listen, man. Come up with your own creativity. That's what always separates the best from the rest. Originality. That's why I respect Geechee Gotti. Because he's Geechee Gotti. He's Geechee Gotti. That's why I can respect brothers like Danny Myers. They not other people. They are themselves. And that's what separates them from a lot of people. They are themselves. And anybody who's great or call themselves good should tap into that like that. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Brothers, y'all have to be smart and educated on what y'all doing. This battle rap thing, man, is a business and can make careers to y'all for y'all to the point y'all shouldn't have. Let me tell you something. This is what I get mad at Smack and Beasley and them about. Because this thing can be to the point. Well, these brothers shouldn't have to be picking up other jobs. It's enough money involved in this sport that this thing could be career changing for a lot of these brothers that this is the only thing they have to do. And it will feed and provide not only for them, but for their families too. But selfishness and greediness will not allow them to do that for the rest of y'all because they want to pocket what's meant for y'all so that they can get richer. And it means, oh, we trying to help them out. No, they not. Let me tell you something. If you're really, really trying to help them out, I'm going to tell y'all what they should, what they could have done. And, and, and it would have bought in millions. Millions. And I've been on record saying this. And anybody who know business and marketing know this is true. All they had to do was institute the Battle Rap Championships one time a year. That's it. That's it. One time a year and the rest of the year if people build them to make it to that event. Just like in any sport. You play the regular season, then when the season is over, you play for the big prize, the championships, based upon your accolades of what you did that year. That bring the stars out. That bring the sponsors out. That bring the money out. And nobody else can do it but the URL. And they know it will generate millions and millions of dollars. But they still ain't done it. And they coming up with these lies and excuses of, Oh, we trying to see how to make this bigger. You give a damn championship, you idiot. That's what that's what make any real sport big. What sport don't have a championship? What's the purpose of the championship? It's the biggest of the year. The seasons ain't nothing compared to the playoffs and championships. Who don't know that? But y'all want sponsors. What you think a sponsor would be more happier to get behind? A battle or a championship battle? Right. Which one you think have more relevance, more importance? Right. Stop it, man. They don't want it, though. Because it's too much doing right for the weak and the young. So they like it this, like they like it going on like this, because it gives them all the power. It gives them all the power. Hmm. Tell you the game is cold, boy. Y'all know. Some of y'all too, some of y'all young bucks, y'all don't get it. Y'all don't get it. App rappers versus pay-per-view rappers. That's what they've come down to. And I'm trying to tell y'all, it's going down. It's going down. You want to make it to the pay-per-view stage. 
That's where the superstars at. And until you can make it to that stage, you're just going to be an app battle rapper from here on now. It's your boy Battle Truth. Ain't my judge when asking questions. It's yours. That's a game for you.